Hello, all you beautiful people. I hope everyone is doing well in this crazy time that we're in right now. Um, I am outside, it's true, but I'm keeping my social distance. I'm in the woods behind my house right now, so the chances of meeting anyone are very, very slim. And um, I'm here because I have a new tutorial for you. Yep, that's the one rainbow right now about um, being quarantined and the restaurant that I work at is closed at the moment. Um, but the, that does give me all the time that I need to finish this tutorial that I started ages and ages ago. I started this a couple months ago, like at Christmas. And I still, this is, finally I have the time to actually finish it. So, this tutorial is a little bit different, um, two reasons. The first is that it is more of a folio than an album style. Um, it opens multiple times, so it's not just a one open folio. No, no. That, that's not Lunar Sun Creation style, is it? <laughs> no, it has to go extreme to be Lunar Sun Creation style. So, it opens multiple times and has the same kind of intricate page designs that all of my albums have. Um, and the other thing that makes it really cool and different and interesting is the fact that 90% of the background paper is my own photography. I did supplement it with a little bit of the um, Lost in Paradise from Graphic 45. I used a few sheets of the um, 8x8 uh, signature collection and about half of the um, 12 by 12 patterns and solids. However, you don't have to. You can just use the photos or use the photos and just have some plain colored cardstock that coordinates with the photos. Um, so speaking of those photos, they are available to you. So if you want to do the folio exactly like I have and use my photography, I'm going to have a separate download for all of the photos that I use. There's 40, 46, 47 photos in all, so it's a huge pack of photos. And I'm really, really proud of the way they look in this album. I'm gonna do a video, um, kind of like a slideshow video that I'll also release today, um, uh, showing you every single one of the photos so you can decide if you want to purchase the digital download of them. Um, I think they're wonderful and I hope that you love them and if you do like this idea of me using my own photography as the background paper let me know and then I will do it again with a whole different set of photos. <laughs> I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photos so we can we can do this all day. <laughs> again and again. Um, so anyway, I will show you the folio now. I hope you love it and um, look for the digital download of the photos in my Etsy shop. I'm going to call it um, Photos of Paradise so you can look for that and um, yeah, I hope you are all healthy and well and Try to find the rainbow in your situation. There's always a rainbow to be found. And you're amazing. Big hugs. Wow. Okay, so here is the Paradise Folio. So, show you the cover. I've got one of the chipboard pieces here, some flowers and some leaf cutouts and some metal bits. That's the spine. That's the back. And the opening, it's a little uh, closure that I got on um, on eBay, or eBay, yeah. And then when you open it up, so there's the beginning. So some beautiful, these are both um, in uh, Costa Rica at the Tabacon Hot Springs. So incredible there. All right, so I'm going to do the right side first. So open it up like this. I'm going to do one section at a time. Okay, so these are kind of like a gatefold and they open up and down. Um, the, they're, the up and the down, the, the top and the bottom sections are exactly the same, just mirrored. So this opens and up. So I do have a little bit of the Graphic 45 paper, but it's mostly my own photography. And there's like an alternating waterfall with a pocket at the end there. 
and then that closes again. I'll just show you the bottom even though it is it is the same. Is that in frame? Yeah. So it does the same thing. The photo is just slightly different. It's the same flower, just a slightly different angle of it. Okay, so that's that. And then this far right section here. So these two pull tabs, you pull them and it's a double slider card. And there we go. And when you pull them all the way out, this one opens to the right, this one opens to the left. And then they slide back in again. Like that. And then this is also a slider. So it's got magnets on the back and you slide it in. And then that enables this part to open. And then that opens to the side. And I love this macro photo of that flower. And then this opens up and it's kind of like a, it's got some um, oh, I can't turn this sideways. There's about an inch or so of space, so it's like a pop-up little place for photos. And then a spot for journaling as well. And then that closes, that closes, that closes, and then you pull that back open and it snaps into place. And then these close back. And then in the center, center left area, so this is a magnetic swing tab and you open it up and this opens to the top and I've got another flower that I just kind of cut apart. And then this is um, a big accordion so you've got lots of room for photos here with some journaling at the base. And that closes all up and now you slide this to the top and then grab these at the corner and they pull down like that. I left them blank so that you could add your own photos. I didn't want to add too much bulk to it. And then when you slide this down this way, the same, the same thing. Grab them and they open like that. And then slide that back into the center to lock it all in place. And then there's a little ribbon pull over here. And you open that to the side. And flamingos in Mexico. Uh, and then there's a chipboard kind of pull tab that's magnetized. So that lifts up. And then this is a pocket. So I've got just a flamingo tag in there as well as... Um, this is one of my leaf pictures that was cut apart and it's another um, um, accordion so another big spot for photos just blank on the back and that goes back into the pocket there and then we close that up and then we'll work on the left side so I'll do the center part the center the right side, we'll work on the right side. <laughs> um, so in the center, we've got like a macro flower and then this lifts up and then this goes down. Can you see it all? It's gonna be hard to see all of it. There's two um, different forest images here and then some flowers and this opens to the side and then this is a pocket and there's some nice images in the pocket. And then this opens to the side and there's like a full size of that same flower that was on the front and then an orchid. And then that all closes up and then there's more. <laughs> and then this whole thing slides down and then this opens up and this is an image of the cenote azul and then this opens up again. I left it blank again not wanting to add bulk if I didn't have to and then this just slides back on over top and hides it and it's all magnetized and then over here 
on the far right side. So some palm fronds that I took in Africa, a picture I took in Africa, and this opens up. I'll do the top first, if I can get this all in frame. Okay, so a little metal embellishment just to like as a kind of so you know that it opens. And that opens to the side and to the side again, gorgeous waterfall. And then um, this is another orchid, and what happens here is this turns. And then you've got a macro picture of the orchid. I mean, alternatively, you can put your photo cut. You can, like, get a big photo and cut it and put it here, and then have a different photo here. I just used my own photos, but I mean, you can definitely have like your own photography here or just plain pattern paper, whatever you like. And then this opens to the side and there's a gorgeous sunset here with some pelicans and then another forest scene. This one's in Borneo. This one was in Costa Rica. And then that closes up and that closes up and that closes up like that. And then the bottom section on the right uh, so I've got a, another little metal uh, embellishment as a pull tab there. And then this is uh, another waterfall. Just a simple waterfall, just extra spots for pictures. Another um, sunset. And then this opens to the side. And then this opens up. And then it also opens down. And down again. And then there's a pocket here with some large tags in it. And you close that up and close that up. And then this whole thing opens again to the side. And then there's another gorgeous waterfall and a toucan. Or not a toucan. Yeah, toucan. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that is it. So all of these photos, there's 46 photos in all, and they are available in my Etsy shop as a um, compressed zip digital download. So you can get all of the photos that I used. Plus, there's probably I think there's about six or seven photos that I didn't even actually use in the album, but I'm going to give them to you anyway, just in case. Um, you decide that you would rather use that because I didn't I used some of the graphic 45 but not a whole heck of a lot so you don't have to actually go out and buy any of the graphic 45 you could just use the photos and a little bit of um, plain colored cardstock and that would be enough so I will put the link in the description below so you can go get those photos and you can make this tutorial and um, the digital download it's 17 point something megabytes so it's a big it's a fairly big download um, because there are so many pictures um, so you'll have to unzip it to get all the pictures and then um, just put them on a USB stick bring them into your printers and I printed them all out once in eight and a half by eleven size and then I had the printer put them two to a page and I printed them all out again Okay, so that's what I did. You can you can size them however you so desire. Uh, all right, so I hope you loved the folio, and it's good to be back. And I will see you again soon. Big hugs. Stay healthy. Take care of each other. <laughs>